My name is Jessica Cowan and I am a CHD survivor. I was born with only the right side of my heart. The left side never developed. If you you don't live through it, you don't understand and it's hard to to explain uh, you know what hypoplastic left heart syndrome means. You know, I I grew up with half a heart and then I was, you know, lucky enough to get a whole healthy heart and it just changed everything. I had my first surgery at four days old, my second surgery at 18 months, my third surgery when I was five. I almost passed out at school one day in seventh grade. Two weeks later, I'm being scheduled for surgery with, you know, the need of a pacemaker because my heart's basically starting to fail on me. Little did I know that <laughs> that that reality would be a further challenge when I was um, 16, I needed a heart transplant. So you don't know what it's like to have a full heart when you're, you've lived 16 years with half a heart, not being able to fully take a deep breath. You have that pain in your chest because you exerted yourself too much by walking quicker than you usually do or um, you know, it was the, the, the mental clarity that the cloud, like that, that cloud of just non-thinking, um, it's really hard to explain, but it just kind of went away and I was able to think clearly. I didn't have trouble breathing. Um, I had so much energy that I had never, ever experienced before. Uh, it, it, night and day is, to say the least, uh, you know, looking back, the congenital heart defect research wasn't there 20 years ago, and it's come a long way, but we're still not there quite yet. You know, I, I've come full circle as to my life, you know, growing up with a heart condition. And now I work for an organization that I grew up with and that we are solely based in funding uh, congenital heart defect research. The hope for survival is in the research. And, you know, it's thanks to our joint research um, process, uh, Children's Heart Foundation and the American Heart Association, there's hope in in that research and there's hope for survival and there's hope for the future.